Okay. Copeland. Um, didn't didn't we just play? Sorry, was that someone else? Uh, yes, we just played. So this is the question question on the board. Play someone else. Does he want to play again? Okay, we're playing again. I think I might play mainline um, Alakine Four Pawns attack, Bronze Thing style. I'll create loads of weaknesses, potentially losing trump cards in exchange for something. I think here I'm going to sack d4 just for bishop, actually attacking bishop and overprotect e5. So what I've gained from this that knight maybe not is not the best. I hope on b6. C4 pawns shuts out the knight. I think this is reminiscent of some bronze thing game. Um, so I'll try and shut out the other knight, otherwise knight b4. So queen e1, queen g3. It looks promising. It's not as weak as a usual four pawns attack. So the idea was just uh, just giving up a pawn to avoid looking after the pawn center. Um, rook or knight advantages rook. I can double rooks and maybe play h4 later. Nope. Or just knight e4. I can double rooks and knight e4 to f6. I think. Rook actually, I've got enough overprotection of um, e5. The knight can come to e4. Does it matter about b2? Knight e4 to f6 looks pretty strong. Well, b2's important since it's going to ground the bishop over here. So for the moment, maybe I'll just rook b1 and evict that knight with bishop c2 soon. Whereas knight c5, knight e4. Knight e4, bishop e4, d3, no, not not d3 at the moment. So knight e4, bishop g5. Actually, I'm not even sure I've ever won in this line ever. <laughs> I think this this idea of the pawn sack is good though. It gives some hope. I've got this nice bishop on on the king, which doesn't normally happen in long over the board games. People somehow make sure this doesn't happen. That there's a a light square bishop pointing at their king on h7. Like last night, as, as I'll show you soon, get over the board game from last night. But here, okay, what can I do with the bishop at the moment? Apart from sack it. It's going to get rid of it now anyway. Okay. He gets rid of it. I get a nice knight on e4. So e takes, bishop takes. He's left with. If I don't do that, I don't know. That pawn on e5 is that important to keep? What about just knight g5 here? If e takes, bishop f6, what? Is there anything concrete there? It's bishop d6. I think the e6 pawn is slightly weak. So I'm going to do that. Bishop d6 looks interesting as well. So knight f6 is almost winning here. Another forcing idea. Bishop c7, queen e7. Okay, so just rook f1 is the forcing move here. Threatening knight f6. Mm. So the knight's nice. Hmm. B4 takes takes knight B B5 knight F6 bishop E5 is an idea or rook F6 rook F4 rook F3 this one I think rook F3 just doubling so threatening horrible things <coughs> okay. So knight takes, unless he wants to give up the exchange, he's going to win that um, f pawn. That looks dangerous. Is there anything stronger? No. Just win the f pawn for a moment. 
Ah. It takes. He's protecting f8. Queen queen h4 takes queen rook f6. Just knight e4, he can still protect f8. Ah, oh, I'll do it. Rook f7 is threatening, mate. So his pawns, are they going to be really that mobile in time? Six almost takes. If the queen was on h4, rook f6 would work. Uh, okay, queen h4 then. This e4 is going to be important. Uh, as rook takes b7, simply. Why well, pawns can't move d3, rook f7, d2, rook g7. Uh, we'll just rook d1 there. Uh, takes d3. There's no time for rook f7, d2. Unless I move the h pawn first. Okay, I'll move the h pawn first to give some yeah uh, for the king. So I'm threatening rook b7, rook f7. Uh, so rook d3 here. That was the point. That is uh, pawn might be vulnerable. You know, counter attack the rook now and try and play for e4. There's also queen d4 check to factor in. So I'm down to 55 seconds. Ah. That's not looking too good for me. No, these pawns are too mobile. I'll try and blockade with the king. I'm getting kingy free. Down to 36 seconds though. That was knight c2 to factor in. Ah, uh, looks too dangerous. Mm, d2 looks winning. Oh, it's rookie four is a tactic for the back row. Mm, D2. I was rook D3. 15 seconds draw. <laughs> he's not going to accept it. 15 seconds, he's going to win on time here. Too short of time, really. Aren't Too short of time. It's pre-move time now, anyway. Okay, pre-move time. What can I do with 15 seconds? Try and avoid getting mated. Try and get the rook off. 11 seconds. Try and get all his pawns off. Can't really do that in 11 seconds, I think. tough game. I was so promising at some stage, but uh, maybe f5 was good. He's getting the central pawn mobility going, which is very good. So, uh, losing the exchange, it's Prochogenesque, in fact, his exchange stack for central pawn mobility. Uh, so that's not bad. 
put me in trouble. Big trouble here. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.